at Studio 1200 Start, there are very few rules in our house, and we don't make our kids do much, but one of them is you will take music lessons. Um, my oldest son took piano. He was good, but he, he wasn't really enjoying it, and he asked us if he could stop playing piano and be a DJ instead. And I work in the music business, I work with some DJs, and I would never say that that's not music, and we actually uh, agreed with him, and the only problem was we couldn't find anywhere to take lessons. So after a long struggle, uh, we found a couple of great teachers. Um, my friend has a studio, we put everything together and sort of just created one from scratch, and it grew organically. Um, from my son to a couple of his friends to a couple of their friends and so on and so on and so on. Um, and now we have a pretty nice spread of kids, mostly kids. We have a, an adult class on Monday nights, a couple of families, but it's ultimately uh, turned into the area's only DJ school for, 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 for young people. So I'm here with Frequency. Thank you. Not much. DJ Frequency. Yep. Not The Frequency. No, nope, it's Just Frequency. Just Frequency. Yeah. Just Frequency. How'd you come up with the name? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I think it just came to me at one point. Uh huh. But then it just felt like. Yeah, it just felt right. Felt right. Yeah. DJ Volume sounded good. Yeah. Sounded good. Thanks. I'm here with DJ SJ. What's going on, man? I'm good. Good. Here with the laser. How are you? Good. How long you been spinning? Like almost two years. About four or five years. Uh, about two to three years. How long you been DJing? Probably uh, maybe a year or two, I guess. Okay. Did you learn everything here at the DJ Academy, or yeah, you know, well, I, yeah, I guess from from you actually. <laughs> So at the core, uh, the DJ Academy offers a program where students go through a course that starts with DJ 101, 202, and then 303. Each of those classes is eight weeks once a week. When you graduate from 303, you, you technically have all the skills you need to be a DJ. Has it always been on controllers? Uh, yeah, mostly. What do you have experience spinning with? I started out on vinyl, and then I, I started using a computer and Serato and like a controller like this. Okay. So what made you come up with the name The Laser? Um, well, my initials are LSR, so, well, my mom kind of made up the laser mm -hmm. part, and I thought that was pretty cool. So pretty much just highlight my initials and... Yeah. And after they learn their skills, they start defining themselves as artists and DJs, um, really building out their blog, their marketing materials, uh, their recorded materials. And then after intensive, they go into specialty A or specialty B where they're specializing in a particular area. How's your experience been at the DJ Academy? Uh, pretty good, yeah. Uh, I would say it's fun. <laughs> So what are your favorite genres to spin? I like to choose between maybe like some dubstep and you know, like pop songs. Um, as far as DJing is concerned, like what what's your passion for? Probably, I guess, I don't know, just making the crowd happy, I guess. So a key part of what we do here is paying respect to the, the culture of, of music and DJs. My day job is in the music business where I work with artists, I run a record label, and I wanted to make sure that uh, everyone associated with the Academy um, is legitimate. <laughs> so we have some of the best local DJs as teachers. Um, we have some of the best uh, local uh, business people involved as well. Um, and we have this whole community. We work with the Lower Marion School District. We're right here in the heart of Ardmore where we work with the Ardmore Music Hall doing live shows. And we've become a part of the fabric of the community. We're always the kids out there spinning at Little League games, spinning at Suburban Station. And so it's meant a lot to me to have a, a place in this community and also a cool place in this community where kids like to come and hang out. My favorite gig was when I played at the Mall of America. It was pretty fun. Sweet, sweet. All right, so last question. You had a chance to play the QSC K series, what do you think of them? Oh, they're really good. They make the sound a lot better for me. <laughs> and pretty loud and make, you know, DJ more fun. How do you like them? They're great, especially the sub for down there. <laughs> QSC K series, what do you think about them? Um, I think they're pretty good because they like project a lot of sound and they're pretty easy to set up, yeah. 
I think they're very good. I liked uh, like the base quality on them. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like you guys didn't have any trouble putting them together either. Mm -mm. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. I'm gonna let you get back to what you're doing, man. Go ahead. Sounded good. Thank you.